Hey everyone, welcome to another vintage cube draft here on Snap Bolt. This is going to be a sick one, I think. Um, no moxes, no soul rings, no black lotus, but there is channel. I'm going to take channel. The only other card I think I would take from this pack would probably be Force of Will. Um, I just drafted Blue Light Control a couple times, and I don't really want to draft it again. You can kind of choose what you want to do in cube. Um, you can generally like you get pushed into things, but you can kind of force what you want to do. Um, I still think I I think I still think I would pack one pick one channel over force anyway, but it is kind of close. Um, but I'm gonna take channel. Okay, I mean that's an easy mana vault there. I'm not sure what this person could have taken. Maybe like a mox or something like that. Um, there's also balance, shell dock, even Eureka for us, but. Yeah, Mana Vault is extremely, it's incredibly good. It's easy to go turn one Mana Vault, turn two, play land, play five drop. Um, so I'm going to take the Mana Vault for sure. Um, okay. So we have a couple options here. I mean, Channel is better with like the colorless threats because it uh, like doesn't like for example with Avenger you need quad green for that to work that being said we still could take Avenger just be a green be a green ramp deck <clears throat> other options would be like take Tamiyo because uh, blue green channel is pretty good botanical sanctum in the same essence heartbeat or take windswept or even arbor elf and I think I'm gonna take arbor elf it's just a one mana ramp spell Seems like where we want to be with uh, with what we have so far. Um, all right, I'm not crazy about Carpaline Gorge or Overgrown Tomb. I think it's between Memory Jar and Pilgrim, and uh, I think I'm gonna take Pilgrim. Just another basically Lanoir Elf effect. Um, not the best one ever, but. Uh, solid enough that uh, I'm happy to take it. Okay, Master of the Wild Hunt versus Trigon Predator versus Primal Command, I think. I don't think I would want Rakdos Signet as much as these. I'm going to take Primal Command. Let's just look to be Mono Green or Green Ramp or Blue Green or something of the like. But Primal Command is a good place to be. Alright, going to slam this bird. It's not even close here. Um, that's an easy pickup. Just another rant spell. It's good when you have like just a bunch of redundancy and all of your cards are doing similar things. Alright, I'll take a Dem Protector. I'm not like in love with this card, like it often doesn't make my deck, but it does look good in the deck we have right now. So I'll take that. And Yavimaya Elder is a card I really don't like. I just don't think it's very good at all. It's like it comes in, it doesn't do anything right away, and then when it dies, you you can sacrifice it, draw a card, and then get two lands in your hand. So you're like essentially five mana, draw three slowly. It can just die to a bolt. I just don't like to play that card in my deck. I'll just take a treasure cruise in case we end up blue green. All right, lodestone golem's not even bad, but is it better than thrag tusk? Probably not. I have been running into a fair amount of mono red on here recently. Um, I do like Lodestone Golem even if you're not an artifact deck, and it could be okay with channel, but I'll just take a Thrag. Now we have Lumbering Falls versus Eureka versus Scoos. You know what, I think I'm going to take Eureka. We have a channel, so any like Emrakul or Ulamog we're going to value really highly. So Eureka seems good with that. All right, I mean, green seems open. So I'm not going to take the Botanical Sanctum, and I'm going to take an Avenger. I can just play Avenger. Uh, I guess I'm... Uh, am I more likely to play red or green? I guess red. That one's hard to say. I guess I probably should have taken Overgrown Tomb just because... It's straight up better than Copperline Gorge, just being a dual land. But we have all green cards so far. We don't have anything to channel into yet, but we can pick that up. Um, oh. Well, 
I got probably what we would have taken anyway. So we have some lands off to the side here, but at the end of uh, the way they, I don't know if it's the way they updated it or what, but at the end of the cube, like at the end of the draft, like you don't have much time and like it just like basically gives you a card. So we have some good lands to splash a white card. There's also we could splash a red card potentially. All right, there's some options here. Don't think it's Wooded Foothills. Um, there's Everflowing Chalice, Harmonize, and Vivian. There's also Golgari Signet, Green Signet, and Metamorph. Out of all these cards, I'm kind of leaning towards Vivian in this deck. Like we can turn two Vivian off Mana Vault. We can just go like Elf, Elf, Vivian on turn three as well. Yeah. Just seems like a pretty powerful Planeswalker that uh, I think we want in this deck. Ooh. There's some sweet stuff here. Finale of Devastation, Terracidon. I guess it's between those two. There is also a show and tell, but I'm trying to be mono green. Green seems open enough where I think we can do it. Finale of Devastation Channel, yeah, it costs quad green, but for mono green, that is a sick combo. You just straight up kill them that turn, most likely. Um, I'll try I'll try Finale. We have Thrag to get. We have Avenger. I um, wonder if it's better just to take Terracidon, though. Just take the big fatty. I'll take the Finale and, and go from there. All right, well, I'm happy we took Finale. I would want another Elf, but we have to take Crater Hoof here. I also would probably want this Wake. That would be something potentially worth splashing. But Crater Hoof, when you're mono green, Crater Hoof is the card you want. You have like cards like Green Sun Zenith and now Finale of Devastation and just like other ways to put it in Eureka channel, but you can ramp it out pretty fast. It's like you can find it pretty easily. It's like sometimes you can just like, yeah, finale for Avenger might be good enough, but you win next turn. But when you have Crater Hoof anywhere in your deck, you win immediately. So this is the card like that's so critical for Mono Green. It makes your deck much better. Um yeah. Not the not the best one. I think uh Ulamogs are better, but I'm happy to take a close look. Works well with Eureka and Channel. Um, and we can just cast it for 10. So not close. I saw I originally saw the Wasteland, but slamming this Kozlek here. Our deck's looking pretty fun. I like playing uh, Mono Green. All right. We have Blightsteel Colossus as something to channel into. Um, but I think I'm going to take Green Sun Zenith. We can still just turn three, Green Sun, channel, get Crater Hoof, get Avenger, get like maybe even will will that... Uh, Terracidon, hopefully, that'd be sick. But um, we also could will this Blightsteel Colossus. Probably not, but um, I think with Crater Hoof, Green Sun is enough better. It can also just turn to get an Elf. So I think, therefore, it's enough better than Blightsteel that we want to take it. We'd rather have, like, Eldrazi with cast triggers. All right, I'll take a Woodfall Primus. It's, it's no uh, Terracidon, but it is pretty good. I also originally saw this regrowth and I was like, oh man, we we would want regrowth. I mean, I think it's just a strong card, but uh, definitely would fall Primus here with our double green Sun Zenith package. All right, just slam a Garrick Wild Speaker, not close. Um, people are probably going to hate me if I don't take Carnage Tyrant. People value this card pretty highly, but I think we might just want Garrick Primal Speaker, Primal Hunter. Hmm. Maybe we do want Carnage Tyrant over that. I'm just going to take the Planeswalker. All right, wield this Harmonize. I'll take that over Signet. want the card advantage. Didn't wield Terrastom, but we wield a Drain Tyrant. Don't think this deck is going to want to be to splash at all. I think we just want to play all forests. Take a Drain Tyrant. Nice. Elf wield. Monogreen is so open, which is... 
when you're trying to draft mono green and there's another mono green drafter at the table, it can be pretty rough. But when it's open, the deck is very, very good. Uh, sure, probably don't want anything here. I cannot take a. I'll just hate this. Hating when you're in um, the new, the new ish uh, format of league. Hate drafting like just doesn't really work at all because a lot of your games or most of your games or even all of them, you're drafting against other people who didn't, who weren't even in your draft. That being said, you don't want to just hook people up with with like <laughs> sweet like last pick grave titans, but um, you just like. By hate drafting like a card, maybe overtaking something for yourself, it's just not good because you're literally not hurting anybody else that you're that you're most likely gonna play play against. So it doesn't really do anything. So I'd say some of the best cards we're looking for would be Rofellos, just like more cards like Soul Ring, Mana Crypt, Green Mahux, um, just more elves. That sort of thing. All right. Well, this opening pack is a huge miss. Man, I just really don't like survival, but I still think in this deck it might be good enough, just because we have all these elves that we can discard later, and we can just find crater hoof. We can we can find whatever we need. Uh, yeah. I mean, again, people are probably going to disagree with me, but like this deck with green sun finale we can find what we need most of the time anyway and i don't know like a lot of times you survival and then you like are sitting around waiting for a creature when if you just didn't have survival you'd have another good creature but that being said i'm still gonna take it and i'm probably gonna play it in this deck okay there's good cards here for us Ugin, worm coil and ancient tomb so Worm Coil can be found through Finale, but Ugin is more devastating to cast off of Channel. This just puts permanence into play, right? Yeah. Hmm. Man, I almost always would take Ugin, but we just have like a bunch of guys. So if we like go like Arbor Elf, Pilgrim, Mana Vault, Ugin, Wrath, it's like then we don't really have any mana left over. Hmm. I'm just going to take Worm Coil. Hmm. That's close. Channel Ugin is still insane. All right, I'm just going to take Ugin. We can always just Ugin plus. Ugin's just more powerful. All right, I'm going to take a, a Gyre here. Ulamog the Infinite Gyre. We can channel that out. That's a good one. We can just ramp it out. We can finale it out. We're going to try to get this baby into play. All four us still play Primeval Titan? Sure, why not? Nothing else here for us. Um, Kodama's Reach, Wall of Blossoms. Could even take... I don't think we just... I don't think we need Verdant Catacombs at all. <sighs> Let's see. Excuse me. Hmm. Is Wall of Blossoms or Kodama's Reach better? 21 seconds. Hmm. I guess Wall of Blossoms isn't doing that much for us. It can smooth out our draws a little bit, but so can Kodama's Reach, and this ramps us. So I'll take the Reach. Wow, and there's the Rofellos. Our deck just got insane. Nice. I'm pretty excited about this deck. This is one of the best mono green decks I think I've drafted in a while. This deck looks awesome. Bunch of top end, bunch of ramp. Getting that Rofellus was huge because we have Green Sun and Finale. We can find it. That was sick. And another elf. Oh my god. This deck is like. I think this deck can certainly be a 3 0. Even in like the Vintage Cube, we have five one drop elves, we have Mana Vault. We have Rofellus, we have Channel with three good things to channel off on turn two. Survival, and then we have like essentially double green sun zenith and a lot of targets and planeswalkers. And I think we're taking Plowander over Devoted Druid. 
I think we want this plow under. It's a really, really strong effect. Can kind of lock them out of the game. Sure. I was thinking about like, oh, we, we could probably cut this Eureka, but I, th I think we start the Eureka, Eureka, and then we can uh, side it out if we don't think it's going to be that good. Because ramping out a Eureka can just be game if we have to just put in an Ulamog or Kozlak and they just don't really have anything that crazy. Right, we are going to have to make some cuts here though. Probably going to have to cut some of these fives. I took the Garrick over the Carnage Tyrant. Hmm. Courser? We want this too. Wow. Okay, I'll cut Pelucranos. We can side that in if like, they have creatures. That doesn't matter what we take there. Hmm. This deck is so strong, I could even just cut Kodama's Reach. Like, we have so much other ramp. I don't think we need to really just get, like, forests, do we? I'm going to cut Den Protector, side that in, and, like, grind your matchups. Don't think I can cut Survival. Hmm. This is going to be hard to, to cut this deck down. I may actually cut... Um, oh, I just didn't take anything. I may actually cut Avenger, as weird as that sounds, because a lot of times if we're ramping it out, we're not going to have that many lands. We do have some good combos with it, though. I can cut this Wall of Blossoms. I don't think I can cut Survival, just with five... Oh, and we just got a Nature's Claim? And a Skull Clamp? We can play Skull Clamp. Oh my God, I don't think we're I don't think we're playing Skull Clamp. Yeah, we can we can eat our elves and draw two cards, but we have a lot of card advantage and Harmonize, Garak, just other Planeswalkers. Um, man, I think we want to play like fourteen or fifteen um, forests. So we do still need to make some cuts. Maybe cut Deranged Hermit. It's just like weaker than our other cards. Cut Avenger. I don't think we're cutting either of these Eldrazi's. So this is only 12 forests right now. So I guess we cut Kodama's Reach. I just can't think of anything else we want to cut really. Could we cut Vivian? And then if we see a lot of artifacts and, and enchantments, bring it in. Because like... Vivian Plus, like, actually isn't that insane in our deck. Like, just seems a little awkward. I think we want to play Nature's Claim. This is 14 forests. It sounds weird, but that might be enough, because all these, this is 5, 6, 7, like, 8, like, we have, like, 14 forests, Plus, that's 18 mana sources, 19 mana sources, 20 mana sources, assuming we have like one or two forests. So we have a lot of mana sources. Still might want to run 15. I like cutting the Vivian, especially I'd rather, I think I'd rather play Nature's Claim. I just think it's better than Vivian as like a naturalized effect. We could just cut Thrag Tusk and then bring it in against red. That's what I, hmm. And we don't have a five to search for. We don't have a. I guess that's fine. We'd rather just wait and like get one of these. I think most of the time. Could cut Garrick. Maybe it's better just to play like Thrag with like Green Sun and Finale. No, Garrick's just like so powerful in some matchups. So let's add some forests. Oh, that's 15 forests. Yeah, I think we I think we want to play 15 land. Um, screenshot this deck. I always like to screenshot. It's just it's just easier. You don't have to like memorize the list. 
And then, like, when you have Green Sun in hand, and, like, you like, can look at your graveyard and what else you have in hand, and you can just literally search every target that you can... You can look at every target that you can search for. Um, so this deck looks crazy, crazy good. I think it's one of the best mono green decks I've ever drafted, and I'll... Hey everyone, welcome to round one. Snap Bolt here, Vintage Cube Draft. And we have a awesome hand. Really, really sick hand here. This deck is great. I'm really excited to play this deck. If you can't tell, we have a turn two bird and Rofellos off double forest. Uh, just gonna play Rofellos. Yeah, he could have a bolt for it, but even if he does, that's fine. Uh, I guess I'll play bird. If he doesn't, we're just going to go off on turn three here. Probably not even cast green sun. We'll probably just play a Garrick. If he can't kill this, shrine? Sure. I think our draw is a little bit better than his. All right, so... We have six, seven, eight mana. So we could green sun for a primeval titan. We could, I think we just play Garrick Pilgrim. And uh, then we next turn go for the win. Yeah, absolutely. Because next turn we can just green send for Crater Huff. If he couldn't kill Rofellus there, he probably can't kill it next turn. This card's awesome. We're going to create a beast. No reason to draw two and attack for one. And even if he kills Rofellos, Rofellos here. All right, our, our opponent casts Abbot. Hits Pia, can't cast that. So we're gonna get Rofellos here and that's gonna be it. Sorry for the dog barking again. But yeah, this is a, uh, I'm just gonna have a little fun here. This is this is game, we're, we're against Mono Red and uh, he can't do anything. So I'm just gonna go Green Sun. He'll probably concede. X equals eight. Uh, sure, whatever. X equals eight. We're gonna get Crater Huff, and then I'm gonna minus Garrick after getting Crater Huff. Make sure I get the right creature. Crater Huff. Let the trigger resolve. And then just for fun, I'm gonna minus Garrick, draw eleven. Oh, he he's like he like thinks he can survive. <laughs> I think he thinks he can survive. That's fine. He's bolting the beast. Sure. So now I only get to draw ten cards off Garrick. Not really concerned about like showing him our deck. I, I, oh, and fire blast the bird, so he like is surviving essentially. All right, I'll add a, I'll add a green mana. Let prowess resolve. Could also just plus the Garrick. Nine nine trample. So he actually isn't dead here. Uh, we can still just draw nine cards. Um, I'm fine to do. And then we just can, uh, okay, you just conceded. All right. That was pretty sweet. And I'll see you uh, for sideboarding here. We're going to mono red, so we'll just bring in Thrag, like I said. Is there anything else we want? We could just bring in Deranged Termit as well. Uh, I don't know if we need Deranged Termit. We could bring in Wall of Blossoms, though. And we can cut 
Garrick was good that game, but it was not necessary. We can cut Garrick. Plowunder seems good. He has no way of like dealing with that. Definitely want Eureka. Seems like a good matchup for us. We could just cut survival. I don't think we really like have time to just be like dicking around with survival. Just bring in some good creatures and go from there. Alright, this hand's a mulligan. Nowhere near like our last hand. He mulliganed as well. And we'll snap keep this. We have a turn two Ugin. So <laughs> He mulligan to five. And uh, we'll top an Arbor Elf. Sure. <laughs> this is a Goblin Guide? A Zergo. Sure. Wow. So, I mean, I guess paying eight for channel is could be a little risky. We could get burned out. But uh, is it worth it? it? Might be. Turn to Ugin. Can't pass that up, right? Shrine? Ooh. So he has two cards in hand. We're at 18. All right, we're going for this Ugin here. Channel, we go down to 10. But then we uh, cast Ugin. <laughs> Bolt his guy. And then we're pretty close to ulting Ugin. Yeah, it just concedes. All right, pretty sweet. I'll see you in the next round. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Round two. We had a really quick round one, and we're on the play. This deck is just awesome. We're going to keep this hand. We have Green Sun on turn two for Rofellos. So, yeah, Green Sun and Finale, just so sick. This... Honestly, it might be the best mono green, mono green deck I've ever drafted. I have no idea what my dog's barking at, so sorry about that. I have a dachshund, so... He's uh, pretty barky. Check him out at, at Lewin Dachshund on Instagram. It's L-L-E-W-Y-N underscore D-O-X. At Lewin Dox on Instagram. Check him out, he's super cute. But in this game, we have turn one Finhorn, like I said, turn two Green Sun for Grofellus. Are we against Mono Red again? Definitely just gonna put a Rofellus onto the battlefield. Hope he can't deal with it. Which, what is pretty sick right here with the finale is. Uh, if he goes like Bolt Rofellos, next turn we can go Forest, Finale, put Rofellos back onto the battlefield, and then next turn Ugin. That's so sick. Yeah, Lightning Bolt Rofellos, and next turn we Finale, get Rofellos back again. Okay, he passes. I'm yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna finale for Rofellos. Search your library and or graveyard. That's pretty hilarious. Turn two Rofellos, turn three Rofellos. All right, and then if he kills Rofellos again, we can still just cast Garrick next turn. Can't kill it yet. Flame Slash, okay. I mean, that's fine. I mean, again, we still have Garrick here. He found Island. No counterspell. Wow, he has it. Days. Negate. Okay, well, our Ugin's not getting negated then. Our opponent's interacting with us really well, though. I mean, he said two one mana removal spells for Ophelos and a negate. So our opponent's doing well. Otherwise, we would have cast Ugin there. We weren't able to resolve our Garrick, so our opponent's absolutely hanging in there. We don't have much gas left. 
We need to draw another land to be able to cast this Ugin. Opponent could be on a twin deck, could be on just like blue red control. I'm just going to attack for one again. Next turn, play Ugin. And then we can, we're still pretty close to uh, just like drawing our fatties and casting them. Young Pyromancer, he could just be a sweet blue red deck here. All right, let's go for Ugin, not playing around days or anything. Just trying to cast it. Do so we have another counter spell? Oh, come on. Disallow? Brutal. <clears throat> Our deck is just pretty chock full of threats, though, so. We're trying to run our opponent out of uh, gas and just top deck some threats. That's our plan. Our opponent's just dealt with every. Wow, consecrated? It's probably game. Hats off to our opponent. Played well. Had a really sick draw. Just interacted with us really nicely. Crushed us. Harmonize is a decent one, but not really with Consecrated Sphinx out there. Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble here. Are we going to have to cast this Harmonize into Consecrated Sphinx? I mean, our deck doesn't really have a way to remove this. We have to kind of win before he's able to like untap with Consecrated Sphinx. So, I think we're probably dead here, but... I mean, he had Bolt, Flame Slash, Negate to start the game off. So he gets, we draw Harmonize, he gets to draw two cards. It's looking pretty rough. I think I'm going to cast Harmonize and just, he can draw his whole deck. Can't do anything. Lena Lendra. Jesus. <laughs> All right. It's looking rough for us here. Try to cast it. I wonder if he's going to Glenelendra this Harmonize. That'd be pretty funny. He has Consecrated Sphinx out. We cast Harmonize. He counters it. He is countering it. If I was him, I probably would too. Um, I'm fine to just concede this game. He has another Glenelendra. We're drawing Survival. He has Consecrated Sphinx out. <coughs> wonder if you can see those cards. Probably. <laughs> All right, so he's like blue-red value. He could be combo-y. He has some counter spells. Could bring in Den Protector. I don't think we want Avenger. I don't think we want Vivian. Don't think we want Deranged Hermit or Thrag, really. So could bring in Den Protector take out Eureka? I mean, if he puts in a Consecrated Sphinx, is that bad? I mean, I guess if we Eureka, we couldn't just win the game. Um, I'll just bring in Den Protector. I just don't want to cut survival, really. All right, I just won't bring it in. Not sure. I mean, we could cut Corsair, but Corsair seems pretty decent in this matchup. All right, we lost the first game. We'll be on the play here. We'll keep this. We have turn two Corsair, turn three Harmonize. <clears throat> Our opponent has sh shown us some bolt effects, though. Our opponent kept. Super lucky. Just kidding. And, uh... We're going to just slam turn two Courser. Hopefully on our turn three, we'll find a land off Courser, then cast Harmonize, and just get a bunch of card advantage. Wow. Mana Vault. That's sweet. Um, I, I mean, yeah, we can Mana Vault into Harmonize, but that does not seem good. I'd much rather uh, just cast Courser. Next turn, we can just Mana Vault.
nice forest. It's actually not that good. I wish it was the next card, but we'll cast this Woodfall Primus soon here. Young Peasy. All right, well, we can play Forest from Library, and we have another Forest on top. All right, that's not ideal. Let's see, three, four. So the problem is if I go Harmonize, next turn I cannot go Mana Vault, Woodfall. Hmm. I do kind of want to cast Woodfall next turn. I think it's just too mana inefficient just to play Mana Vault Pass. I'd rather just cast Harmonize here. He's tapped out. I want the card advantage. I'm playing Harmonize. Kozilek on top. It's a good one to draw. Um, I'll attack. He can attack back for two. So next turn, if I go Forest, Mana Vault, I'll have seven mana. So I can Finale for five. So that doesn't get us anything because of the way we built our deck. Um... But I can just go land finale for two mana vault and get Rofellos. Then he has to deal with Rofellos, and even if he does, I can still cast Woodfall Primus. So I like that line. I guess, oh, we could have sided out Nature's Claim against Blue Red. Land. Oh, I guess I should have cast finale first, probably. Cast Finale for two. Negate. Okay. Now I'm not going to attack with Corsair. And I'll play Mana Vault. And then next turn, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not going to attack. Can't cast Kozilek next turn. But I could cast Woodfall Primus. If he just leaves mana up. Burst Lightning the Arbor Elf, I'm assuming. Yeah. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So yeah, it's still a while till Kozilek. So we have time to cast Woodfall Primus, untap Mana Vault, and then cast Kozilek. So if he doesn't kill Mana Vault here, I'm feeling pretty good about, about this game. If he kills Mana Vault, we're kind of on the slow track again. Fiery Confluence? No, Chandra. Kill Corsair. No, add two mana. If he like abrades this, that's insane. He just had all the right answers at all the right times. If, if that, oh no. What? That, that was just wrong. And then he's trading off an elemental for does he have a fire blast that doesn't that doesn't make sense i think he just messed up there i'm i'm not entirely sure what what happened to be honest wow crater hoof that's a good one i'll just try to cast a Woodfall here, killing Chandra. Definitely not going to let him have a Chandra if I can help it. Woodfall Primus. Destroy Chandra. And then attack with Corsair. Yeah, I mean, like, our opponent's interacting with us really well, but this deck is, like, insane. I think if I don't see any artifacts this game, I'm siding out claim. 
Glenelendra. Okay. That doesn't do much. Uh, I think we are untapping this. Yes. Play land from library. And then just attack with Woodfall, I think. Just leave Courser back to block. No reason to get too aggro here. So next turn, we can just cast Kozilek, draw four. Or we could cast Crater Hoof, try for the win. If he goes Consecrated, I think we have the win. He only has one card in hand. So I guess going for Crater Hoof makes sense. If he has Counterspell, it's worse. So maybe going for Kozilek is safer. I mean, he's also just like dying on board to our Woodfall right now. Definitely siding out Nature's Claim. And then he's probably gonna go like double artifact ramp or something in the third game. No, definitely not gonna pay for to untap that. Um, do I need to go for the win? I mean, I'm not even close to dying, so absolutely not. Just attack with both. He can trip walk my courser if he wants. And then I'm going to cast Kozilek. I guess I can still cast a uh, Crater Hoof next turn. Draw four. Resolves. And then go to discard, just discard a forest here. I guess I'd rather show him claim. <laughs> We have this primal command anyway. This deck is just so fun to play. Vintage Cube ends tomorrow and this is probably gonna be my last draft and this is a good way to end it I'd say regardless if we win this game three or not, or the, or the last match, but this deck has been pretty awesome. Now I'm, in, now I'm gonna go for the Crater Hoof. No, not gonna untap that. We'll take one damage, sure. He knows about the Crater Hoof already. We'll cast it. I mean, even if you have a, a counter spell here, it doesn't matter. Sweet. Channel on top. This deck is nuts. Um, do we want like Thrag or more creatures? I know maybe we do want to just like, we can just like take out these like spells because he has like negate Glenelendra and just like bring in more creature threats. Yeah, I think I like that. Just plays around his counter spells a little bit more. Like if he's leaving him the gate and we just slam Thrag, it's a lot better than if he's leaving him the gate and we slam like one like a planeswalker. So do we also want Avenger? It seems pretty good in this matchup. Mm. The range hermit kind of doing the same thing. Maybe we just go like this. Yeah, I like this. That splits up our converted mana cost a little bit better. All right, we're going to mulligan this six forest Thrag Tusk hand. It's not where we want to be. But this hand will keep. 
We'll top an Arbor Elf. We have a potential, I think we have a potential turn two win here. Um, I think we do actually, because we can go turn one Arbor Elf and then we can, oh no, this isn't a finale. But we do have a turn two channel for Green Sun Zenith, which is pretty sick. We can get Crater Hoof, we can get Primeval Titan, we can get Avenger, we can get Woodfall Primus. So this is gonna be a pretty sick turn too. I wonder what I wonder what's best. Hmm. So we're gonna go forest. I'm definitely gonna go channel for Green Sun Zenith here. Um so let's see. Untap this. Tap it. So if I get if I just get crater hoof. I'm only attacking for seven. That's definitely not the right call. I don't want to just get Thrag. Don't want to get Avenger for two. I guess Woodfall Primus is, is the best one we have. Unfortunately, we don't have that Terracidon. Um, but turn two Woodfall Primus, still pretty good. And then Green Sun for eight. Six, seven, eight. Okay, green sun for eight. And we get Woodfall Primus. We kill Island. Not a bad turn two. I mean, I have turn two channel Emrakuld, but we'll settle for turn two Woodfall Primus here. And he has no other island, it looks like. Do we have a burden spell for the Arbor Elf? We still have a 6 6 persist. Yeah, he just concedes. Another uh, crushing victory there, another dope match. Our opponent's deck was good. But uh, this deck is insane. I'll see you in the third round. Hey everyone, welcome back. We are round three. We're two and zero, oh, so we're in the finals of this vintage cube draft. We have one of the sickest mono green decks I've ever seen. And would you like to play first? Yes. What do we got? Hmm. Nothing that crazy, but I think we'll keep. <clears throat> we still have a turn three Garrick with nothing else. We have a lot of draws that are good. And then we have Primeval Titan and Ugin, so we have a lot going on here. Just don't like to mull really when we have just like reasonable functional hands like this. It's like, yeah, our deck's better than this, but at the same time, like, I don't really like to mull, mull these type of hands. Just make a beast here. Next turn we can just go Primeval Titan. Edric, sure. Um, yeah, I'll just go. Uh, <clears throat> I'll just go Primeval Titan here. That just sets us up best for our, the future turns. I can't click on this. Okay. Primeval Titan. Yes. Get two forests. And I'm not going to attack because he could have a bounce spell. I don't want him to draw an extra card. If all he could do is Edric, he probably can't get out of this either. Oracle? Sure. Next turn, we can just Ugin and attack with Primeval Titan. And then next turn, we can Ulamog. 
So we're just going off way harder than him here. Okay. <clears throat> so we can crater hoof um, for plus four, plus four. So that'd be 10, 17. Yeah, that, that's game, right? 10, 17 uh, plus nine is what, 26? And he can block four, so that's 22 damage. So let's go for that. Untap. Untap. Crater Hoof. I mean, I was going to Ugin there, but if we have the, if we have the win, oops. Uh, okay, yeah, he just conceded. This deck is just, again, I keep saying it, but this deck is just nuts. All right, so he looks to be kind of like a blue-green, like, aggro ramp strategy as well. I think that's a pretty reasonable ma matchup for us. I'm actually going to side out Eureka because he probably also has a bunch of big threats. And uh, it's a little too risky. If we don't have, like, the Crater Hoof in hand, it seems a little too risky to Eureka. Um, so we can either Avenger, we can Vivian... I guess I'll just Avenger. Is there any other reason I want like Vivian? Or maybe even Pelucanos to like shoot down his like 1-1s? One no, I'd rather just like win the game than do that. I think I want to keep Plow Under though. Yeah, sure. Turn 1 Elf, turn 2 Double Elf. Nothing else to do yet, but we're going to draw some more cards. Just lead on Arbor. We have a turn three Primal Command right now. It's not too bad. All right, he's got double elf. And if we draw a land next turn, we'll have a turn three Primeval Titan. Just not even offer the trade. Just don't want to. We don't have enough mana, so. Jace, that's good. Brainstorm, okay. So we want to draw land. If not, we have Primal Command as well. Okay, we drew Ugin. It's kind of rough. I guess we go just to make him recast Jace, put Jace on top, search our library for a creature. I mean, it's pretty unexciting, but that's what we got. Primal Command, put target non-creature permanent on the top of its owner's library, search your library for a creature. This just takes us a whole turn to cast Jace again. Um, so we could get Crater Hoof, we could get Rofellos. Hmm. We could also get Corsair of Crufix. Because that has the potential to get us value immediately if we don't draw land. Hmm, help us draw through our deck better against Jace, but if we go, if we get Rofellos, he like has to kill it. I'll just get Rofellos. He's blue-green, so he probably doesn't have a way to like permanently kill this. He can Jace bounce it, but Edric, oh god, draw one. It's weird that he attacked with Noble and not Elves. Okay, we drew a land. So I can cast Primeval Titan. Or, I, I mean, I guess I just cast Primeval Titan.
Yeah. He can Jace bounce that. It's a lot better than him going Jace bounce or Fellows. And next turn we have Ugin or Avenger. He has his own Primeval Titan. Okay. So I can go Ugin Wrath the board, but then I Ugin dies to the Lumbering Falls. But I also could attack with Primeval Titan. Interesting. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I also have Garrick. This is interesting. So I have 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. So if I go Garrick, untap 2 lands, I only have 6 mana. So that doesn't actually work. Um, but what I can do is... It's, I think it's going to be pretty hard for him to get out of it if I just go... Cast Avenger, and then attack with Primeval Titan, because then I get double landfall trigger, and I ramp two more lands. And if he doesn't want to block with his Primeval Titan, yes, yield, then uh, he's in really rough shape. He's not blocking. Okay. Does he have like his own Ugin? Crater Hoof. Does that do it? That might not do it. I mean, we have a lot of toughness back. So 21 plus 7, 28, uh, 34. So we need a block. We go down to. See, 34. We need to block 24. Um, 34 minus 17. Let's see. How much do we need to block to survive? Yeah, so we need to block 17. And we have plenty. So we're not dead. So I think he's dead. Okay, so we'll go to blockers. So we have five, eight, eleven. And then, uh, what's the best way to do this? Probably just, if we block, like, I guess I'll just kill the Edric. So if we block like this, we're only taking 16, oh, we're taking 16 damage. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Yeah, so we're going to 1. I uh, just want to double check everything. But then we're not, I don't think we're necessarily killing him on the crack back. Uh, let's see. Do we have to block like this? No. We don't. Six. Because we don't want to lose everything. 11, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think that's fine. I'd rather kill Primeval Titan. Let's see, it's 6. So this way, this plant survives. We're hitting back right now for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we'd have to draw land to be able to Ugin. Seven, eight, and nine mana. Still think this is fine.
Oh, wait. I should have blocked the way I had it before with one more planet. Because then his Edric survived. Oh, and his Primeval Titan survived. Hmm. Okay, well, we can just green ten for Crater Hoof. So it's pretty funny. Both decks pretty good here, but we were able to get there. We could have wrapped the board with Ugin, but it worked out that we didn't. Crater Hoof, and then we attack with all. Good games. Nice little 3 0 there. This deck was nuts. This was such a fun mono green deck. I had a great time. This is the last time I'll probably be drafting this iteration of Vintage Cube. Thank you for supporting Snapbolt, and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.